Hello, friends, and welcome to A Ray of Hope by way of coffee and conversation. Friends, get a Bible today. Turn with me to Acts chapter number 17. We'll look at verse 26 and 27. And I'll bring to you a devotion that I've titled, The Meaning of Seeking. Well, praise the Lord. What better way to get a new day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee and a word from God's precious Bible? Well, friend, the Bible says here in Acts 17, beginning with verse 26, and he hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on the face of the earth and has determined the times before appointed and bound their habitation that they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him and find him though he be not far from every one of us. You know, my friend, whenever I think about that particular passage of scripture, God created us to seek him. Now listen, this is a profound idea. Our seeking ability is a profound gift. God put in each one of us a heart to seek him out. Now God did so when we want to find him, or God did this rather, so that when we want to find him, we will find him. Now, although we're separated from God because of our sin, because of the separation between our reality and God's heaven, friend, God still wants us to be with him in spirit as well as in truth. Now, God placed us on this earth to seek him out and to do his precious will. Part of God's will for us is to seek him and find him. Listen, my friend, God did not make us to sit idly by and wait for God to appear in front of us like we sit and watch a television set. God wants us to be active and proactive. One of our basic purposes of life is to seek God. Friend, to search for God is to seek Him out. That means we're to seek His love, we're to seek His purpose, and we're to seek his peace. Now, to seek out God means that we request his real presence, solicit his warmth and carry, and ask for him to come into our hearts and our lives and give to us an eternal salvation. Praise God, my friend, today that he's put in each and every one of us a seeking heart. I like what Jeremiah says in Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen, And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Think about that. All your heart. Pray with me. Father, thank you so much for your word today. And thank you for making us a seeking people. And help us to constantly seek your will for our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray you'll do just that and then go out into your world and do your best to make a difference. Remember to smile as you go. Let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Your life can be the only Bible some will ever read. So let others see Christ in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.